Hotel Echo Lima Lima Oscar. It's good afternoon from South East London, England, from your host, your guy himself, the one and only and truly DLG Repping, otherwise short for Delhi London Guna Space. Romeo Echo Papa Papa Indigo November. You see it there? Yes, it's back. The domestic season's back. And it resumes to the finale um, tail end of the season. And today, my beloved Arsenal have Manchester City away at the Etihad, a place that we have not won since 2015. Nine years without a league victory at Manchester City. The majority of those nine years has ended up refreshing. 6-3, 5-0, 4-1. And then some more. Um, as for today, we go into this fixture much more solid at the back. Much more confident with our defending. Much more confident in front of goal. 31 league goals, three conceded. And that's um, part of the eight, eight, um, eight winning match um, run that we've had. So I'm going to give you the, without further ado, I'm going to give you the team lineup news. Oh, if I lost it, oh, got to have it here. Right, four three three, which I predicted in my um, preview from yesterday. Um, in goal, Davareya. The back four is Benjamin White, William Saliba, Gabriel dos Santos Magalhães, and Jakub Kuvia. The midfield three. Sitting in the midfield um, anchorman in the number six role is Declan Rice. So his job is to obviously sit in front of the back four, basically. And he's going to have an important job to do today. Um, especially if it comes to marking um, Kevin De Bruyne. Right. The midfielder on the right-hand side to Declan Rice is Martin Odegaard, our club captain. Now, I've said it time and time again. We are crying out for Martin Odegaard to put in a big game performance away from home. And it doesn't get any bigger than Manchester City today. This is the biggest game of our season. And Martin Odegaard, he's got to do the best he can to help us um, contribute towards a top um, performance and a good win. If we are to get the win. A draw is not the end of the world. It's not a bad result. And I mean that in more ways than one. The defeat is a psychological blow. End off. On the left-hand side to him, um, Jorginho. Even though I feel Jorginho will be sitting in the number six, but I think Arteta's got uh, other uh, ideas. <laughs> so Jorginho as the left-hand side of the number eight. So the attacking three. Left, um, right wing forward, Bukayo Saka. Now, I want to see him really have a go at his... Um, Left back, try to get the outside of him, swinging some crosses, create a goal, um, if not scoring any. But I want to really see him have a big impact in this game. Left wing forward, Gabriel Jesus. So Trossard and Martin Lee both on the bench for Jesus to start this game. I think um, he's, he seems more effective on the wings than he does as a number nine striker. And speaking of number nine strikers, um Kai Havertz will start as the lone number nine for me. I think um, that's justifiable. Um, his form of uh, recently has been splendid and he has come away from the criticism. And I think that position is more effective. He's more effective in that position than um, he benefits playing in the midfield area, whether eight or, whether eight or wherever. He's just not that midfielder. For me, he's an attacking player, number nine. That's a maybe false number nine at best. That's Kai Havertz. All right, giving you the substitution bench. Aaron Ramsdale, Takahiro Tomiyasu, Alexander Sinchenko, Thomas Partey. It gets good from the first four, and then the next five: Fabio Vieira, Emil Smith Rowe, Leandro Trossard. Gabriel Martinelli, Eddie Nketia. So obviously Timber's um, not fit enough to make the bench just yet. No room for Reese Nelson. 
and there's no room for um, Mohamed Al Naini. So the benches are look, looking a, looking a little bit um, stronger, but not as strong as Man City's bench. Nowhere near as strong as Man City's bench. It's plain fact. Right, um, guys, you know what to do in the comment section. If you want to give me a score prediction, you know where the comment section is. Um, prediction of corners, prediction of throw-ins, goal kicks, your red cards, yellow cards. Leave it in the comment section below. Your opinions, your views are more than welcome on my channel. The Westernized channel, should I call it. On top of that, yeah, make sure you show me love, joy and respect by smashing the thumbs up like button for me. Do um, share this channel amongst your friends and your relatives, yeah, and share it virally all over the globe. And um, on top of that, yeah, hit the subscribe button for me, yeah. Smash the subscribe button for me. In fact, encourage your friends, your relative to subscribe to this channel, yeah. The Westernized channel. It can't get any Westernized than this. So get subscribing. Um, my score prediction. My heart says... We'll get a draw. My head's telling me we'll win it by one clear goal. Simple as, if not two. <laughs> so, guys, um, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Um, because I'm out of here. I'm going to wrap this up here. More peace, more love, more blessings. Again, do look after your friends. Make sure you look after your families. And make sure you look after yourself, which is important, especially if you're at the Etihad as an Arsenal fan. And on top of that, yeah, just be nice, please. And I do mean be nice. Latest. Enjoy the game. <laughs>